to RPG Raspberry Pi Dose channel. Today we are going to be showing you how to use a Raspberry to control LED strips. First we are going to need a Raspberry Pi 4 with a micro SD card. Then we are also going to need a 5 volt power adapter with a USB type C port. Next we are going to need a WS 2 inch 12 feet LED strip. Mine is 16.4 feet or 5 meters and it has 300 LED lights. This is my switching power supply. It has 5 volt, 18 amp, and 90 watts. I'm also going to be using a, a wire stripper, digital multimeter, and a power cord. If you want to extend, if you want more LED lights, you will use this to extend. But your extra LED lights will need more power. If you only want a few LED lights for a smaller project, then you'll use scissors to cut along the white line over here. You will also need a 5 volt power adapter with a power jack socket. This is ours and we are also going to need a soldering iron kit with a uh, outlet tester. Lastly, we are going to need a breadboard and jumper wires. Let's get started. <laughs> now we're going to use a power cord to connect to the switching power supply. First, we are going to use the wire stripper to cut off this end on mode cutter or whatever you call it. But it's the last one. And then I'm going to like strip the outside like this. Now since we finished doing that, we can strip off the outside layer. And remember, black is live, white is neutral, and green is ground. Technically the green thing is turquoise. Now I got one off. Woo! Next I'm going to do a neutral since it's in the order. And then now I finished can neutral. Can I do it? Okay. Yeah, I'm doing If it's hard one. for 1.6, then you can try 1.3. I'll keep these back. Not too much. And, and then you can go into what's that simple? You can use your hand. Yay! Now we are going to connect it onto the switching power supply. If the wires are coming out, you can twist it and they will all be bunched up. And you want to make sure some of the most of the wire is not coming out, or if they touch, it could um, zap you and stuff. And you'll die and turn into ashes. So be real careful. We're going to do the neutral. And last but not least, ground. Yeah, ground, wait, ground, yeah. If you're a kid like us, then you need to be with an uh, adult supervision or you might die because of the electrical thing. Always make safety the first priority. So now we are going to use the outlet tester to test the outlet and make sure the wires were put in correctly. Now we are going to use 
turn this to the 9 volt and I'm going to put this on negative and this on positive. Make sure you don't touch it or um, yeah, it says you don't V plus and V minus. That's how you know if it's negative or positive. So we're going to need to turn it to 5 volts, right? Almost there. All right, so it's a little, make sure you don't want it to be too high or too low. Yeah, if it's too low, the power won't make it. If it's too high, then yeah, it's gonna burn. Now you're going to use a jumper wire to connect to the LED strip, Raspberry Pi and switching power supply. I'm going to use the red to connect to the red, the blue to connect to the green area, and the white and the black to connect to the white area. Red means positive, blue means data, and black means um, negative or ground. switching power supply you can put your jumper wires anywhere you want as long as it's along the V minus or V plus to go on to learn adafruit.com and follow their tutorial. First, you're going to install the libraries and copy it. Go on to command and paste it. Press enter and it should be starting to install. And so you see the same thing again. And then you're going to install the other library. And copy that. Then paste it. Press enter and it should starting, be starting to install again. going to go on to funny python ide going back to the learn adafruit.com and copying this going back to python and then pasting it For our first LED light, it's going to be uh, red. For our second LED light, It's going to be green. For our third LED light, it's going to be blue. For our fourth LED light, it's going to be white. For our fifth 
LED light. It's going to be light pink. Let's save it. We're going to call it test1.py. So now we are going to press run. And it says NeoPixel support requires running with sudo. Please try again. So, well, since that didn't work, let's just go into our commands. Then sudo python3 test1.py. Enter. And then it should work. Below is an example program that repeatedly turns all the LEDs red, then green, then blue, and then goes through a single rainbow cycle. Let's try it. First, I'm going to copy the code and go on to programming, then to Thony Python IDE, and paste the program and save it into test. 2.py and I'm going on to command prompt and typing cd space slash home slash pi and then I'm going to run the command sudo python 3 test 2.py Rainbow is the coolest. Yay. Next time we'll be making music reactive LED strips with our Raspberry Pi 4. That's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and thumbs up. Bye.